It could be any particular disaster. At the moment, it may seem just like a particular global disease. It could be an economic destruction. It could be war. It could be disease. But let's get into each one of these details and find out what exactly could it be and how can we guard ourselves against it and what are the main dates of which we all have to be careful. What a jerk. December 2020 is arguably one of the worst days for many people. They might think that day has brought an even bigger impact than COVID itself. So what happened on that day is Pornhub has decided to remove all the video that were uploaded by unverified users. And as a result, it went from 13.5 million videos down to 2.9 million. And that's about 80% drop in content. That is massive. Personally, I know a few people that have been browsing on Pornhub for a very long time. They, when there's a video they really like, they bookmark it, they put it in favorite, and they have a huge collection. But obviously, after this, most of their collections are gone. So how depressing is it? It's devastating. I have in Google Chrome this like collection of bookmarks of various like videos of porn. <laughs> like, dude, it's like endless. Dude, it, like, it's like hundreds of them. Oh and like 75% of it is useless now because I touch it and it says video deleted. I actually feel bad for those people who have paid for the lifetime membership because obviously with so many content that has been removed, then probably not much point staying there to be honest. So you see, I don't usually talk about this kind of topic but I feel this topic is probably quite interesting to a lot of people. In fact I think there are a few takeaways for this incident and if we plan better then maybe we can benefit from it. The first thing is understand the importance of having physical backup. Now because of convenience we tend to just put stuff on cloud storage like uh, Google Drive, OneDrive, Dropbox, etc. Now the context might be a bit different, but I think there's always a risk there. The thing is, what if the service provider decide to close down the service? What if they decide to remove your content? It's definitely very unlikely, but I think there's always a risk there. So if it's something that's really important, it's something that you can't afford to lose, definitely consider to take physical backup. Put them in your own hard drive or SSD or even you know USB, just so you always have something to back up so that you don't lose your collection, you don't lose something you treasure. The second thing that I've learned, well, probably not learned, but I think is a good chance or a good reason for you to, to watch less porn, to be less consumed with pornography. Now let's face it here, porn is bad for your mind, bad for your brain, and you know, a lot of people are addicted to it. Well, I know I know what you're trying to say, you might think, oh no, I'm not one of them, I'm just consuming it moderately, I just watch uh, maybe once uh, every week or so, um, I didn't harm any people, what's wrong with that, why can't I watch it? Now I'm not trying to say in a religious term or saying uh, you, your heart is not pure by watching porn, I won't say stuff like that. But I just want to talk about personal development perspective. The thing is, if you refrain yourself from sex, and if you use that sex drive or dedication to something else, to your, um, to your business or whatsoever, then you're more likely to succeed because that is a very strong motivation. The infamous personal development book, thinking Grow Rich even has a chapter that's dedicated to it. And you know, there's even a no fab community. They even said, oh, if you don't fab, then you'll be more attracted to women, probably because of testosterone, or or maybe you're, you're just more assertive in a way because your desire still hasn't been satisfied. So you have to do your best to get what you want. 
uh, you get what I mean. So all in all, if you have been consuming pornography, probably is time, probably is a good chance for you to watch less. The third thing that I've learned from this is start paying more attention on cryptocurrency. So another thing that went wrong with Pornhub is Visa and Mastercard decide to end their partnerships. So that means Pornhub cannot accept Visa or Mastercard payment and as a result they can only take cryptocurrency. I actually think it's the reason why Bitcoin has hit its all-time high because cryptocurrency is the only way to pay in Pornhub right now. Now obviously there are other R18 sites so they can still pay with credit card or anything but you never know maybe the other sites will start to follow they will probably accept other cryptocurrency as a form of payment now i'm not saying all the cryptocurrency will go go to the moon in 2021 but what i'm saying is probably worth paying attention from now on because now obviously due to Pornhub has lost a lot of this content i would expect a huge drop in traffic to go into Pornhub but Pornhub was still one of the most visited sites in the world they can only accept cryptocurrency and that is quite a huge thing and it will probably become more and more popular and more common to use it as a form of payment. So as a recap, I think there are three things that we should be doing. First is to create physical backup if there's something that you think that's too important and you can't afford to lose. And second, watch less porn. You might as well use this as an opportunity to quit it for good. Thirdly, would be pay more attention and learn more about cryptocurrency because it might become more and more common in the future because one of the biggest sites in the world is now only accepting cryptocurrency. So yeah, these are the things that you should be doing. And again, I don't create this kind of content that often. If you like this, definitely comment below and let me know. I'll see you in the next video. Signing off.